Growing up, I always loved a good snow day, but here lately, we've had a lot of these colder, snowy temperatures. Amanda, what does the colder, snowy conditions, ice conditions do to the wheat? So, you know, Dave, it's, it's difficult for us to know the, the impact of this cold uh, temperature on the wheat right now, because that will depend on a lot of factors, including the, the developmental stage of the plants, uh, soil moisture, the amount of snow cover, um, and how low the temperatures you get and for how long. So if we get that snow cover, uh, that will help to insulate the crop and protect it from, from these very uh, low temperatures. You mentioned the developmental stages in there and, and how the cold weather can impact those. What, where, where are we at mostly across the state and, and how, how will that cold weather impact those? So I would say that most of the wheat in Oklahoma right now is, is still at that dormant phase. And we measured, yeah, last week in, in, my, uh, in our report in the blog, we, we measured that some plants were at first hollow stem. So those plants could be in a, in a more like susceptible situation because the growing point would be more exposed to the low temperatures and, and that would make them more susceptible. So plants that are uh, far behind in growth, so they have that growing point still uh, protected, still close to the, to the soil and not as exposed and not as susceptible to, the, to, to injuries. So in some ways it, it's kind of it, it's, it's good that we're getting this, this cold event now and say not three or four weeks down the line and, and, and the moisture that comes with it will be good for the crop too. Exactly, exactly. The more advanced in growth, the more uh, exposed that growing point is and more susceptible to this very low temperatures the crop is. So yes, as we enter in the growing season, we don't, we don't, we don't want very low temperatures from now on. As it warms up, producers are going to be out in the field. What, what should they be looking for to see if they actually did sustain any damage to their crop? Yeah, so I, 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 that's, that's what I would say, like just wait a few weeks to, be, to actually go and, and take a look at the crop because I think we'll start seeing some possible damages as the crop starts to, to pick it up and, and it starts to, to grow back again. Um, just look at the crown. If, if they were already advanced in growth, look at the, at the growing point and those are the, are the parts like split up the stem and look inside to see if, if the crown and the, and, the, and the growing point are still viable. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Amanda Silva. And for more information about what she discussed today, go to our website, sunup.okstate.edu.